Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Colley here with Shawnee State ace pitcher Kyle Wisniewski. Kyle, good to have you on this quick 60, man. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, first of all, Kyle, what's it like just, um, just describing uh, your Shawnee State teammates and coaches? Oh, they're great. Um, really close family, especially being a little bit further from home. Uh, a lot of guys that you just trust whenever you need to give a call. Uh, I know they have my back and it's a really good close close group of guys, so it's good. What would be a word to describe them? Determined. I think we have, a, you know, we all have the same goal in mind, so I think determined is a pretty good word. Um, sorry. Uh, what's it been like getting to know um, just your teammates and coaches over the years? It's been great. Uh, I've met a lot of great guys, kind of um, guys from all over, so getting to know their story a little bit and uh, know where they come from and really get to grow with those guys, it's been, it's been awesome. Um, just at Fidua Francescan, uh, you guys, you know, really make a huge turnaround in the program. Um, regional finals your junior year, regional semis your senior year, and you guys beat some great competition. Um, Chardon, um, you know, uh, Youngstown Ursuline, to name a few. Uh, what's it like playing, going up against great programs and teams like that, and and beating them on most occasions? Well, it was it was it was awesome. Uh, Coach Ken RT has really prepared us and put us in the Definitely a good spot to win. Challenged us and uh, brought in a lot of different types of personalities and got us all on the same page on day one, which I think ended up leading to our success uh, over that two-year portion of the season. What was it? Um, name a pitcher that that you has really influenced you or that you really take a lot from when you're on the mound or before a game. Uh, I, being a Cleveland Indians fan, I love watching Shane Bieber. So I like how he goes about and prepares himself uh, before the game and his week-to-week -week routine and even battling some injuries, he's definitely going to uh, balance that and figure out a way to win. And coming off last year, you now he's an injury, but it'll be fun to watch him overcome and see what he does. Um, what's your main, uh, what's a player that really motivates you even just outside of a pitcher or a player that you can, that you take a lot from with his, with his day-to-day -day approach? Um, another Cleveland player, I love watching Baker Mayfield, just uh, kind of has a, a chip on his shoulder at all times. A lot of people don't like what he does, but he's going to be the first guy in the locker room, uh, first guy in the weight room. He's going to be um, taking all the bullets and everything, but so he's going to be that representation. That's not really like how he goes about that. In general, here are your main inspirations in life. I know your your parents and siblings are, are big supporters of your overall game and just your personality in general. Yeah, absolutely. My family is definitely uh, my main supporters and a big reason why I play and everything. Right. Um, What's Pluto like? I gotta ask that. Seth Pluto is one of a kind. He is, <laughs> he is the, the, one of the greatest creatures that ever walked this place, but uh, he's one of my best friends. And, you know, he's gonna do anything for you. He'll, be, he'll pick up your phone right away and help you out in any situation. So he's a great guy out of your corner. Um, you know, lastly, um, what do you hope to accomplish uh, this season, you know, going forward? Um, you, you know, you kind of, you know, bouncing back from injury, first of all, what's what's that been like recovering and recouping from the surgeries you've had and, and being able to get back to your form and setting that strikeout record and having the success you've had? Yeah, the surgeries definitely put a toll on some things, but uh, taught me kind of how to appreciate the game a little bit more and realize that, you know, it doesn't last forever. And, but it's definitely prepared me also mentally where uh, things aren't always going to be good. Uh, there's going to be failure in there, but you just got to find a way to balance uh, the bad with the good and move on from it. So. Um, I think this year, my main goal at least is for us to get a national championship. I think with the talent we have in the locker room, I think I think setting anything short of that is just would be failure. So I think getting the national championship is the biggest part. All right, man. Well.